Hello, friends. This is Daniel Slocum. I'm a product success manager at ServiceNow. I work in the Rangers team. I wanted to bring to you today a, a brief demo on the uh, information contained in the attached article about how to save money converting users to the Adobe Creative Cloud all apps versus the Adobe Creative Cloud single app licenses. Currently, it is January 6, 2022. And the uh, Adobe single app licenses, if you purchase two of those, it is less than the cost of the all apps. However, if a user is using three products, each of them licensed at the single app price, it costs more per person than it does to license that person with the all apps license, which allow them to use multiple and not just three. So it is beneficial to you as a SAM manager to move these users if they have more than two single app licenses to the all apps. Now that's today's pricing. I did not quote it because I don't want to get in trouble with Adobe, but I don't know what's going to happen in the future, which is why I gave you today's date. So what you're looking at on the screen is the software subscriptions table. Um, I'm going to filter this by single app. And we're gonna see that in my demo system, I just have two users with Adobe Creative Cloud single app, but each of them have three records each, which means that they are licensed for three individual products at the individual single app price. And each of these users would be better off and cost our company less money if we converted them to the Adobe All Apps pricing model. So let's talk about how we do that. Well, first off, we need to do a query against this table and report against it so that we can identify users with more than two. That isn't very simple in the out of box reporting mechanism because there's no way to specify a count of greater than and return a list of people. However, you can do it using service now scripting and script includes. And so let me show you how that's done. In this script include, I have uh, made it queryable across the platform so it can be used in, um, in business rules, in, in reporting, in anywhere. So how it works, um, we, we named it count Adobe single subscriptions. We specified a query set here against the SAMP software subscription table. We count the number of users where the record is active is true. The display name contains single app. We're grouping by the user record and we're counting where that record is greater than two. Then we execute the query and stuff into an array, which we define up here in this dupsys ID list. Um, dupsys ID list is push uh, GA dupe check um, user to string. So what we're doing here is we're pushing the sys ID of the users in that list that are have more than two records. It could be five, it could be four, it could be three, it could be 20, whatever. I don't think they have that many apps, but that's the point. It has to be more than two. We drop them into this array so it can be returned by JavaScript in the platform when we call this function. So let's see how that works. Uh, we create ourselves a report. The data comes from a table and we're gonna query the sys user table. Maybe you're wondering why we're not querying the software subscriptions table. Well, that's because we're doing that actually in the script itself and we're returning a list of user IDs and so sys user IDs um, we're going to put here the sys ID of the users in the and in this result set against this table and you can see that there's two of them separated by a comma how do we do that well let's look at this so here in order to call that script include we need to say sys ID is one of and then we have this JavaScript that we put in here and we say um, new global, because we're calling the scope is global. And then we issue the name of the script include with uh, open and close parentheses, dot name of the function with open and close parentheses. So JavaScript new global dot count single subscriptions dot get dupe users. And it returns the values from the array that we stuffed at the end of that script include to the reporting engine. And the reporting engine then gives us the list of users in a format that we can utilize. So now that we have a report that we can see which users match this criteria, it's a matter of taking action and going into the Adobe portal and changing the, uh, the script subscription model for these users from single app to all apps. 
but we don't have to stop there. We can make this a little more simpler than going to the reporting module every day and running this and seeing if it works. We can utilize the share function and add to a dashboard, or we can schedule this or export it to PDF. That exporting to PDF is not useful unless we um, schedule that email or whatever it is, but adding to a dashboard is something that you can leverage every day. And so here on my own personal Daniel's demo dashboard, where I've got you know, hardware normalization status, removal candidates, a few other things. I've got the users with more than two single app subscriptions right here for easy review every day when I come in and look at my instance. So as a SAM manager, having this at your fingertips to review daily, weekly, whatever it might be, you can then be very proactive in saving your organization money. One last thing that I'd like you to consider is doing a small update to your user records. Um, and that would be to add the software subscriptions tab, the related list to the user form. Out of box, it's available, but it is not um, visible. And so you would want to get with your ServiceNow platform team and have them add this related list. And so here you can see in this case, we've this is poor demo data because they already have an all apps, the Adobe Systems Creative Cloud. But you get the point. We have three Adobe Systems Creative Cloud single apps. This person needs to have those converted to this record, Adobe Systems Creative Cloud. So I hope you understand what we're after here. We're trying to help you create a report that's usable on a dashboard that will allow your users to see regularly, easily, the, uh, the results of who has in your organization a subpar, not optimized licensing model for Adobe Creative Cloud in Adobe Single Apps.